I welcome everyone and uh, I am sure you people are preparing well for your upcoming Central Pollution Control Board exam, CPCB exam. And you already know that your PDA has launched a very good module for all of you for CPCB. And CPCB mein jo abhi syllabus aya hai, I mean the new uh, pattern, new syllabus. In that uh, they are also asking you the currently relevant topics related to CPCB and environment. Environment may there is one topic environment and resource economics, which is very very important domain. That means how economics and environment are related, how development and uh, you know environment and pollution is related. We all know that as the development goes, uh, you know, as we develop go for development, environmental pollution is the byproduct of that. As we go for economic growth, development needs to be done, and environment pollution is uh, going to be there. That means if you see this trend, it looks like as we grow more economically, we go for more development, then environmental pollution will be there. We, it looks like that. But up to one extent that is true. After some time, the relation between economic growth and environmental degradation is not proportional. It is not that as you grow more, environmental pollution will keep on increasing. I give you example, if you see all the countries they are divided into teen, three categories, developed, developing, least developed. Now those countries which are least developed, there you need to develop economically to provide socio-economic growth to the people, quality of life to the people. Think of a person who is cooking the food, a poor person who is cooking the food using wood. He is cutting wood, cutting trees, making food for him. That means to make food or to earn something, he is polluting the environment. For his survival, he is more bothered about survival and not about environmental sustainability. So, poor countries, where people survival to fight for survival, there people are not much people and even you know governments are not much conscious about the pollution so the relation between the economic growth and environmental degradation is proportional as economy grows pollution grows environmental degradation grows then we come to some developing countries like china russia india where now people have started realizing think of delhi and all that pollution can kill you so you cannot now pollute it more so government put starts putting restrictions you must be knowing like supreme court puts a restriction on celebration of diwali uh, burning these crackers and all there's a restriction Kya aap itane crackers nahi jala sakte. so government and everybody starts becoming conscious now think of developed countries european countries scandinavian countries people are not using vehicles they are using public transport system or maybe you know clean source of energy they are using they are not using conventional fuels they are using nuclear fuels something like that so environmental pollution decreases with the economy so that means there comes a stage where in the beginning environmental pollution is proportional to economic growth then we plateau a jata hai aur uska jitna economic growth hoga environmental pollution niche chala jata hai this is the three stages of you can say relation between economic growth and pollution. Now, this particular topic, environmental Kuznet curve hypothesis, if I am pronouncing it properly, K U Z N E T. Now, this curve, K C curve, this is environmental Kuznet curve hypothesis, E K C curve. So, this K C curve actually tells you about that only. It says that economic development initially leads to deterioration of the environment. I gave you example of developing countries, uh, least developed countries. After some level of economic growth, developing countries, the society becomes conscious about environmental pollution and they start relating it with their health. Aap apne life ke liye environment ko pollute lage karne, polluted environment is a threat to your life and then the trend reverse. To uske baad environmental deterioration negative nahi hoti, that means economic growth is becomes good for environment. So economic growth good for environment developed countries. Economic growth not good for environment least developed countries something like that. 
But then there is a criticism also. Critics say that as such, uh, there is no such a relation that economic growth will lead to improvement of the environment. Think of, you know, US. US says, Mirko, apna logon ki quality of life ke liye, I am to burn the fossil fuel. So, U US was from the very beginning against banning of the fossil fuels and, you know, reducing the carbon. So, this is a typical KC curve, level of environmental degradation. So, pre-industrial economies. So, you know, as the growth became, economic growth became, so, you know, environmental degradation, x axis is environment, uh, economic growth and y axis is environmental degradation. So, with economic growth, environmental degradation started becoming. So, then industrial, there is a turning point after that, you know, as a service sector, you know, economy has couple of sectors, agriculture sector or primary sector, industrial sector, service sector, IT sector is a service sector. IT sector make pollution nahi hai. Agriculture mein tum dekh rahe ho pollution hai, stubble burning and all. Usi tarikhe se industry mein bhi pollution hai. The moment you run power plant and all, steel manufacturing industries and all, there is a pollution. But IT sector mein pollution is not there. Service sector mein pollution is not there. And you know that the economies first grow through agriculture and then industries and then service sector. So as the economy grows, pollution level first increases and then decreases. So agriculture mein pollution hai, industrial mein pollution tha. Abhi service sector mein pollution is decreasing. So, this is the KC curve they have given. Go through this document, interesting document, small topic. What are the causes of this curve? Number one, what we observe, empirical means our observation that as economy grows, the pollution level decreases. You go to least develop, developing countries, you will find pollution is very high. The top 10 cities, most polluted cities in the world are not in the developed countries. They are in the developing or least developed countries like Delhi and all. That means, Pollution ka economic growth ke saath relation dikhta hai. <coughs> Second is like, you know, people want to pay more tax so that they get the clean environment. Think of developed countries. Now, in the developed countries, people will say, hum se jada tax le lo, but give us clean environment. Living standard ke upar logon ka focus ho jata hai. People say that, no, we want clean air, clean water, because that is what the life is and we don't want to pollute the environment. So, people become more conscious about that. Technology start becoming improved, like how you used to cook the food using wood, but now you are using LPG cylinder. So, technology uh, become developed. Now, you are talking about e-vehicles, you are not talking about fossil fuel vehicle. Renewable energies come, solar energy come with the development of the economy, renewable energies come. So, that means with the development of the economy, e-vehicle, renewable energies will come, that means pollution will decrease. De-industrialization, you must be knowing that America now wants that Manufacturing should be done in countries like India, China, Taiwan, not in US. Why? Because they do not want to pollute their environment. So, government ka regulation, I gave you example of uh, uh, firing uh, ban on the crackers uh, during Diwali festival in India. I gave you example for that. Income has diminishing marginal utility. That means, if you start earning more, up to one income, you want quality of life. After that, if you, even if your income increases, now you want that to be invested on the you know, uh, further on the uh, pollution, uh, removal of the pollution and good quality of life. What is the criticism of this KC curve? He says that empirical evidences are mixed, you know, they, they can be this side or that side. He says pollution is not only function of income, it is combination of many things. Then he says that pollution is global. It is not that, you know, one country will only lead to the pollution. Uh, many developed economies have seen reduction in industries growth in service sector, but they are still importing goods from developing countries. That means pollution to kai na kai hai. That is what they are saying. Uh, growth when there is growth, there is a greater resource use. And uh, basically economy continues to expand and some resource will continue to be used and there is no guarantee that environmental degradation will fall. So that situation will never come that entire world will become developed. Because global warming is a typical example where you can see even developed countries are more responsible for global warming. So, if we say economic growth leads to first rise in pollution and then decrease in environmental degradation, then USA is a very developed economy. US is a very developed economy, far more developed than countries like India. And hence, in US, environmental degradation should be less. But global warming may maximum contribution is of the US only. Something like that you should understand. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Some of the countries which have highest GDP has highest level of carbon dioxide emission. Example is US. So, conclusion you can say that level of income and environmental degradation is quite weak. 
you can't on the basis of one parameter you can say that but in the exam if this kc curve comes to you at least you should know that economic development and environmental uh, inverted u tube uh, u uh, curve u shaped curve is the relation so you should understand what is the meaning of this this is the current topic related to environment the kind of questions you can expect in central pollution control board exam all the very best take down this notes you can take from your pdia website and you can use many such current affair topics related to your cpcb exam thank you